By now, you've probably heard the name Dead Matter, a game that aims to put other titles in the genre The Shame, The Daisies, The Rust, The Seven Days to Die, The Scums, The Dead Sides, the list goes on and on. The list of games that claim to be the ultimate survival experience. Games that quench our thirst for some times, but ultimately left us hungry for a true survival experience. And now here we are, days away from Dead Matter's closed alpha launch. QI Software, they sure can talk the talk, but can they put their money where their mouth is and deliver the game everybody is expecting now? What is up, Enki Boy here, and today we take a look at the upcoming zombie survival game, Dead Matter. Its core features and mechanics, what will set this game apart from the rest of the pack, and finally, what the future holds for QI Software's ambitious project. Now, this is an overview of the game and its core concepts. If you want a more in-depth look, check my Dead Matter development playlist. In there, I go in-depth for every aspect of the game. I'll throw the most recent and interesting gameplay in the background while I say what I have to say for your visual enjoyment. And if you are new here, subscribe to the channel if you want the best Dead Matter content available. If at any point during this video you go, wow, man, this is a freaking nice video, that is your cue to smash the like button. Alright, then matter, then matter, oh, then matter. Where do we start? Just kidding, guys, of course I know where to start. I have this whole thing scripted. Then matter will take place in the Canadian Rockies, more specifically in the vicinity of the towns of Canmore and Denman's Flat in the province of Alberta. The main map will be roughly 256 squared kilometers, which is close to DZ's Kerneris map, which stands at 225 squared kilometers. In addition to the main map, a 36 square kilometer secondary map depicting the city of Calgary will eventually be added. For comparison, that is about the size of Skyrim's map. And further down the road, another map is planned, this one depicting the island of Vancouver. The world of Dead Matter will be in constant decay. At the start, the power grid will be somewhat functional, water will flow from faucets, and food will be easily found inside buildings. But as the days go by, electricity will stop working unless you maintain the grid, water will start dripping from faucets, food, which used to be so easily found, will spawn less and less. The area will be filled with death, hordes of zombies, waiting patiently for survivors to make too much noise, avoid them if you can, as more and more will come if you make it ruckus. But don't worry, the world will also be filled with life, wildlife that you can prey on, wildlife that might prey on you. You will find settlements and safe zones run by factions of NPCs, some friendly, some not of course. Choose your friends wisely and do not betray them, they will remember. Good standing with factions will give you access to quest givers and merchants, bad standings will have you looking over your shoulder constantly. Are you nervous yet? Don't be, NPCs and zombies are probably the least of your worries. They aren't the only ones you will need to fight, you will also need to fight Mother Nature. Dead Matter has a fully simulated weather system, filled with sunny and warm days, just as much as there will be cold and damp ones. Storms, rain, fog, so many things trying to ruin your day, but if you think planning for a rainy day is a chore, have you heard of winter? That's right, Dead Matter will also have a full season system. Summer will see your fresh foods deteriorate faster if not kept in fresh areas. Winters will see you and your goods freeze if you do not find shelter and heat. But do not worry, Canmore is filled with buildings, from your cottages in the middle of the woods all the way to your local supermarkets. There is around 50 different points of interest. That isn't even counting all the houses, apartments, shacks, trailers, and just your general neighborhood buildings. And do you want to know the really crazy part? Almost all of those buildings can be claimed for yourself to call home. Yes, that is right. You can claim and then fortify pretty much any building you will encounter in game. Once you've made a building your own, you are free to improve it the way you want, barricading the windows and doors, building makeshift walls and watchtowers around it, bringing in any items you deem useful and placing them however you please inside your base. Floodlights, barbecues, water reservoirs are only a few examples. Of course, a base won't be one without some defenses. You will be able to craft and place traps to help protect your goods. Those traps can be designed to harm, such as barbed wire traps, but you can also set alarms to lure in zombies if ever one tries to enter your house. 
Building crafts and homesteading require some skills, of course, skills you will be able to choose when you create your character. You will choose a former occupation at start, which will determine some of your starting attributes, perks and gear, but you will be able to tailor your avatar to your liking by adding negative perks and positive ones, and choosing some specific skills. Those attributes and perks will determine your stats, your stats determine everything about you, from how quickly you regenerate lost blood to how fast and solidly you can search cupboard. And finally, your stats will be affected by injuries, you will have multiple health metrics to monitor to make sure you are functioning at optimal capacity, do not forget to treat those wounds, the zombie apocalypse has a tendency to be unforgiving. To treat those wounds, of course, you will be able to find medical supplies around the world, just as you can find pretty much anything you will need to survive. Remember, the more time goes by, the harder everything will be to find. But you will need a plan before you start scavenging around, specific things will be found in specific places, food will be abundant in supermarkets, construction materials such as plywood and tools useful to fortify your home will be found in hardware stores and construction sites. Medical supplies will be easily found in ambulances and medical facilities, at first of course. And keep in mind, if ever you die with all of your sweet loot on you, you will need to go and get it back, but you will have to fight your zombie self to get your things back. Weapons. Civilian ones can be found in the homes and pickup trucks. More powerful ones you will need to look in the police station and military infrastructures. The firearms and melee weapons you find will be fully customizable. If you don't have the skills to take your gun apart, hope you find a decent one already built. But if you have the know-how, you can take apart your weapons and mix match some parts and accessories to your liking. There is over 50 firearms and 50 melee weapons in Den Matter right now, all of them with their own variants and set of accessories and upgrades and modifications. You will find a weapon to your liking, the problem is simply to find it. But do not worry, you will have plenty of ways to move around and help you explore the world to find whatever you need. There is currently over 30 different vehicles announced, ranging from bicycles all the way to helicopters and planes. And just like yourself, your base and your weapons, you will be able to fit your vehicle to your needs. First by choosing the right type of vehicle of course, but you can also modify your ride, you can add window bars, plows, winches, roof racks, sheet metal armor, floodlights, you can pin trailers and place heavy objects in the bed of pickups, the list goes on and on. But of course this being the zombie apocalypse, getting your ride won't be easy, you will need to maintain your vehicles, fuel, charge batteries, working spark plugs, Build tires are only a few examples of the things you need to take care of to have a functioning vehicle. Now that we know what Den Matter is and what it aims to become, what does the future hold for Den Matter? To me, its future looks very bright. If you look at Steam charts, 10 games in the top 50 fit in the survival category. All games with their own flaws and problems, yet the player base is there. The survival genre is very alive and hungry for the game that will finally get zombie survival right. Is Dead Matter up to the task? We do not know yet. The features are there, the concepts are there, the work has been done, but until we play it, we do not know. Me, I believe this game has the potential to blow up and be the title we play for the next 5 years. The players are here, they are waiting patiently in line for that train, let's hope that train brings us where it said it would take us. As of making this video, Den Matter is set to hit closed alpha in the end of August. If you check on their website, there is a countdown. The early access release is set to be in early 2021. And there you have it, I hope you've enjoyed. Before you leave, if you need a Den Matter access key, jump in my Discord, link is in the description. Look in the contest channel, I have a giveaway going on in there. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe, and if you've really enjoyed, share this video and turn your notifications on. This is it for today, I will see you in the next one.